Today, the FIFA 20 market has decreased, has taken a huge pitfall. And of course, if you just take a look at some of the players here, Lucas Moura was 73k, now is 60k. Martial was 63k and now 52k. Ben Yedda, 50k and he is now 30k. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining why exactly this is and also explaining how you could possibly profit from it and what actions to kind of take from now. And of course, what I'm going to be doing during this period as well. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do do subscribe I'm going to be making lots more videos just like this one and also trading and investing how to make coins and about the market when it's going to go up when it's going to go down very similar to this video so going straight into it now as you can see this is the team that I was using for of course the first weekend league and it has done me quite good I'm really liking the upfront but the defense I would definitely like to improve and possibly maybe even the midfield a bit and the main thing that I do want to add is this Nelson Semedo that I did get of course in the first of it champions player picks gold three were quite overpowered I did also get Adam Traore so you can check out the gold three rewards are also here on the channel and what I have actually kind of created a concept for so right now I do have quite a bit of coins I've got 300,000 coins and the market has dropped quite a lot so most of these players for example Lucas Mora I would have lost a bit of coins on him I still did get him quite cheap I haven't sold him yet and for example Tagliafico I got him very cheap right at the start but all of these players they are quite down right now so I am going to be selling these later on possibly we are going to see what's going to go on with the market i do think sunday monday towards of course fit champions rewards is going to the market is going to go up again it's going to stable out but for now of course it is very now which means it is a very good time to buy always when the market is low of course is a great time to buy but the problem is people can't usually buy because they have most of their coins in their team but luckily for me right now i was i didn't actually play the weekend league i've, I've kept these coins because i always like to have a lot of coins and i don't really want to have a lot of it in the team but as you can see if we go squad selector this is kind of what I have drafted up as we can see here so I am using of course these I haven't bought anyone just yet we do have Pepe he was untradeable as well from the pre-order packs of course that you did get if you did order of course before August the 5th the one to watch untradeable pre-order pack and then we did actually get here we got Promes of course I did actually get him from the SBC he's a very nice card really like him at left wing does plays really well for me and we did of course get Nelson Semedo at left back right back could possibly possibly be better but of course we are just gonna have to deal with it left back of course and he looks like a very nice card and also this is the circle we did have in the before the last team and also Lucas Mora which looks like a very nice card but pretty much what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be buying these players around this so this will cost me around 300k and the great thing about this is I'm gonna buy all of these cards for 300k of course leaving me without any coins but these cards are very cheap Lucas Hernandez of course De Jong lots of players have dropped at least 10,000 coins possibly even 15 20,000 coins which is absolutely amazing to be able to get them this cheap and once again of course whilst I'm buying them now very cheap I can sell them maybe when they do go back up but I am going to be using them in weekend league right now of course then in game I'm going to change like this with Lucas Mora up front and it's going to be a very nice team in my opinion very solid and I'm going to be picking it up for a very nice team and when the market does go back up you do want to be of course or I'm going to be selling this team I'm not going to be selling this team right now because it is very low and I can make possibly 50,000, 100,000 coins more when of course the market is going to go back up but I can actually buy right now because I do have the coins available which is also what you guys do want to be doing. I would not recommend to have all of your coins into your team because it might be good for foot champions and division rival rewards but when we do get of course in a situation like this it's actually going to be very hard to actually make coins because there's no way you don't have any coins available to actually go out there and buy cards when they are low and of course flip them and sell them when they are going to be high in a few days of time which of course is why you definitely need to look at your team and how much coins you are spending on it I like to maybe 50 50 I even like a bit less I like to have a lot of coins actually available for a situation like this because purely the more coins available you do have for this the more coins you are going to be make it is of course it right now this is just a situation it's guaranteed profit because of course these players have gone down because of different reasons such as too many SBCs from EA Sports that have actually been very good a Bamiyang player of the month we did get icon swaps which did come with a lot of hype there's a lot of different requirements from there which people are maybe selling their teams and kind of like trying to complete the objectives now and right now of course it's going to be a perfect time to buy you already know of course these players are going to go up next of course when we are going to get hype of course leading up to Thursday rewards so even starting on Monday Tuesday Wednesday the players are going to start increasing and definitely track the prices of your cards that you have put in of course that you have invested in that either either you have put into your team or are waiting on the transfer list definitely take 
take a look, keep keep tracking their prices. When you are happy with it, then you can, of course, sell for a very nice profit. And you do need to remember, the more coins that you do put into this, the more coins you're going to be getting out. So, for example, if someone puts a million coins, you are going to be able to get perhaps 150k, 200k from that, of course, profit. And if you only put 100,000 coins, you might only be getting, of course, around 15 to 20k. So that is why you do need to be very careful with that. I hope this video did explain the market, how the market trends is going to work and possibly make profit, of course, this week. And if not, of course, the weeks to definitely come because this does happen every single week and you definitely do not want to miss out on it. If you guys do need any other help, definitely comment down below. We'll get back to you. And also, you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.